Everyone knows that human beings have rich emotions. The psychologist Parrot concluded that they are love, happiness, surprise, anger, sadness, and fear. A total of six emotions. Animals also have this emotion, but it is not as detailed as that shown by humans. But today's question is, do plants have feelings? The answer is yes, plants have feelings. Today the narrator will introduce the feelings of plants to you. Once, Cliff of the CIA suddenly had a whimsical idea. He connected the polygraph to a flower, then lit a match, and brought the fire closer to the flower, making the appearance of burning it. At this moment, a strange thing happened. The lie detector connected to the flower actually tracked the reaction of the flower, and the pointer swung violently, showing the anxiety and fear of the flower at this time. What is even more unbelievable is that the reaction of the flower when it is frightened is exactly the same as that of a human being in the same situation. This response of the flower is no accident. Professors from Yale University in the United States have done such an experiment. Put two flowers in the same room, connect the test equipment to the flowers, and then let people wear masks to destroy one of them. Then, the murderer walked out of the room where the flowers were placed, and several other people put on masks and walked past the surviving flowers one by one. When the murderer gets close to the surviving flower, its emotion will become like a human's extreme fear. What's going on here? Could it be that the lie detector is faulty? Or are plants not as heartless as people think, but have real emotions? After these findings were published, many botanists verified them. The results are jaw-dropping. At night, if someone pretends to be a ghost and walks in the field, the crop yield will be greatly reduced due to fright. But if the music that the crops like is often played, the crop yield will increase by 30 to 50 percent. Some plants even dance to the music. In the primeval forest of Shishuangbana, China, there is such a tree that can dance, and it can even choose the type of music it likes. If you play light music or a lyrical song next to it, it will dance to the rhythm and move very gracefully. If you play a strong rhythm or a loud sound to it, it will stand there, angry, like a statue. After two teachers in Germany did research on tomatoes, they also came to the same conclusion. He gave six tomato seedlings to six gardeners, three of whom took good care of the tomato seedlings and talked to them often, while the other three only watered and fertilized them. The results were indeed unexpected. The tomato seedlings that were given meticulous care produced 22.2% more fruits. In addition to these basic emotions of joy, anger, sorrow, and joy, plant-based even has a convincing defense ability. In the 1970s, hares in the primeval forests of Alaska multiplied rapidly, eating a large number of tree shoots destroying the root system, and almost destroying the entire forest. People tried their best, but with little success. Soon, an incredible thing happened. The hares suddenly fell ill in groups and died in large numbers. The surviving hares had no choice but to escape from this place. What happened? 
It turned out that the new leaves grown from the trees bitten by hares, actually contained the chemical substance renene, which drove the hares away. Studies have shown that defense capabilities are ubiquitous in plants, and plants will issue warnings to their neighbors for collective defense. It seems that plants do have a nervous system, eyes, memory, and emotional needs like humans. Well, that's the end of today's introduction. I hope everyone loves animals as well as plants, and don't cause unnecessary harm to them. See you next time.